Hi, I'm Tony Gardner, and we are on location with Scouts vs. Zombies. Is there a particular reason you designed yours this way? Well, I figured I wouldn't be able to talk anybody else into putting a big hook in their mouth and jacking <laughs> their lips out, and I would do it, you know, take one for the team, so to speak. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't ask anybody else to do it, because it, it's really, really uncomfortable. So I, I just went for something that was really extreme, and. I actually have to say, I think it's really good for makeup effects guys to go through stuff like this every once in a while to understand the process and being on the other side because mm -hmm. we get so used to what we do. It's, I think it's advantageous to well, see it from the other side. Don't worry, Mommy! Daddy's here! Dude, something's wrong with her. Look at her chest. No, that's makeup, dummy! It's a jungle thing! Oh my God! There have been a lot of challenges, to be honest. I mean, one has just been the, the time that we've had to get everything done and trying to have a very uniform look to the volume that we're doing. From a technical perspective, that's been the challenge. And then aesthetically, trying to do something you haven't seen before that isn't just, you know, the same old, same old. The idea was, if you had a flip book of zombie, the, you know, zombie photos, it's like, okay, there's a Walking Dead zombie. Okay, there's a Zombieland zombie. There's a Scouts versus Zombie zombie. It was like a very distinctive sort of look. Okay. <laughs> Trying to make a deer look scary <laughs> and evil like. and like it's going to attack you and you're not going to laugh at it yeah. is, is a pretty large challenge. As is a big fluffy white cat. <laughs> so we got hit with things we weren't expecting, but those were the really fun ones. The whole thing with being able to try and do everything practical has forced us to sort of think in directions that we haven't normally done because you get sort of complacent and used to, oh, we can, you know, add that later. And adding things later digitally is great in regards to like the blood splashing because they can control it for continuity. We'll do something small and they can make it bigger if they want. At least there's something there. But in designing some of this stuff, it's like, all right, we want a zombie whose back is broken and we want him to move really weird. And then we're trolling the internet looking for people that could do interesting movements and it's like they do these races in Japan where people run on all fours. They actually race, and there's this whole like subculture, this whole group of people that do this. It's like, why don't take advantage of that? Let's take advantage of a movement specialist for this other thing. I mean, it's it's really been fun trying to design based on on new ideas. What is that? It's a bug. What are you, the Taliban? Stop agitating them. I want a new profile pic.